Hi, this is Kate from Isilicious Designs. I wanted to show you another little idea I had for these fabulous little uh, Lupit beads, which you can find at www.lupitbeads.com. You can also find them at Michael's. They're only $4.99 for a packet of 500 plus of these little pre-cut beads, which they're really fun. You can put them on your headphones and your shoelaces. You can even do them in your hair. But I suddenly thought, what a good idea, we, we could, they, they even make glow-in-the-dark ones, but we could use them for the spokes of a bicycle. So let's see, do they actually fit? If I can open them, they've got this little um, Ziploc contraption to them, which is fantastic, I love this, because from the point of view of keeping your beads from flying all over the place, fabulous idea. So, the little beads, as you can see, have this little cut in them, and all I'm going to do is, hello darling, have you come to help? Thank you. We're going to see if we can snap the little beads onto the spokes of the bike. So let's see if I can line this up. The larger the 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 wire the larger the the thing that you're trying to thread it through the more difficult it is but look at this it does fit i don't know if the, my little straw trick would work and i've got i always tell you i've got fumble fingers i have i'm i'm very clumsy but you could just snap these onto place You could change them up, you could have a pattern, you could have the glow-in-the-dark ones. I think they would look fantastic. I'm going to sit here and do a couple of these, and I'll show you how it looks when I'm done. I'm not going to do the whole wheel. Isn't it a cute idea? I thought you'd like it. Anyway, I'll get back to you in a minute. I'm going to pause the video, do a few more. I'll get back to you in a minute. See ya. So I'm going to record doing this last spoke because I've got a little quicker as I've been progressing through and some of them you'll find are not opened enough and you'll just put those to one side but most of them if you sort of tip them a little bit at an angle and start at the bottom oops they are fiddly so you start at the bottom here like so and snap them on and they go on quite quickly I've nearly, I've used nearly a whole packet for just this one side and I'm just going to do this one side uh, just to show you, I'll leave it up to Izzy if she wants to do any further on these and I very carefully put my camera exactly where my beads are let's get a couple more, finish this spoke off As you can see, they're not. I'm not needing to use a straw. I'm not needing to use anything to pry them apart. They're snapping on really easy and quickly. I've been very boring. I haven't used a pattern at all, but you could, and I think it would look fabulous. But I might leave that to some of you guys to show me what you've come up with. So here's my last one. I've just done the outsides of the spokes. I've not done the bits here. I've just done the outside, but I think it looks really cute. And the important person, Izzy, thinks it looks cute too. So I'll take a photograph and I'll show you.